Hi, this is Justice. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Escape Motions Connect. So that's this right here. If you are looking for it and you purchased for Bell 5 Pro, then you can find this option in your purchases when you log into the site. So make sure you go up here to log in, uh, go into my account, purchases, and then you'll see it right here. You're going to download this. And let's go ahead and open up that folder. So you're going to see inside that folder when you've unzipped it, you see assets, EMC, readme, and this is important. So if you're trying to figure this out and you're not watching this video, then uh, that's probably not going to ever happen. <laughs> if you're watching this video, you're already here. The information in here is going to be what I'm sharing uh, right now. Uh, this installer JSX is what we're going to use inside of Photoshop. So let's go ahead and jump over to Photoshop. So Photoshop up here, if we go to File, Scripts, Browse, we're going to find that installer. I have mine unzipped in my download folder, so I'm going to click on that, choose Load. After you've loaded the script, you're going to go over here to Window, Extensions, and you're going to see Escape Motions Connect. Once you click on that, over here, you're going to see a little icon that has the Escape Motions logo on it, and you're gonna have an option for PS to Rebel. This is PS to Flame Painter. So we're just gonna be focusing on this one right here. All right, so for right now, we're gonna minimize this, and we're going to put here, Rebel is amazing. And let's hit Enter. Okay, now we're gonna go over to Rebel. You can see I've got a blank canvas. So let's go back to Photoshop and we're going to click this button right here, PS to RB. And when we go over here to Rebel, you can see that we've got our text copied over on this layer. Now keep in mind, this is shifting layer to layer over here, as opposed to uh, project to project. So this is not sending a PSD, this is sending a layer over. So let's do a little something else here. Let's use the brush. And let's open up the layers panel. And let's add another layer and we're going to go on that layer. Okay, hit PS to RB and jump back over. And you can see this is transferred over. You're gonna see we have one layer and we have a second layer. Now let's make a third layer and go from this direction. Okay, so let's select the paintbrush and let's do some nice, uh, we're gonna turn pigments on because I like pigments and you're using Rebel 5 Pro if you have this plugin. And let's blend these a little bit. So then let's press this button right here, export to Photoshop, control F. And let's go back over to Photoshop. We've got this additional layer created in Rebel inside of Photoshop. So really cool. This allows you to use all of the additional features inside of Photoshop to accent and accentuate your Rebel projects and vice versa. Now, if you're exporting and the layer sizes don't match in between Rebel and Photoshop, then you can adjust those manually. Obviously, just making this canvas size the same as the one in Rebel, that will work. Uh, otherwise, Rebel can automatically try and make it fit, and sometimes it will crop the edges out. And so keep in mind that those sizes are important. Uh, if you don't have a document open already inside of uh, Rebel, then the export will open up a document of the same layer size as whatever has as whatever is set up inside of Photoshop. So now there's a little bit of troubleshooting. So I'm going to open up this EMC README Now text document that was in the file folder that we unzipped. So here, here's the section here: how to keep the same canvas size in Photoshop and Escape Motion software. Number one, you can run Photoshop. When you export the Photoshop layer, Rebel, application will be open with the exported layer size, which is what I was just sharing. Option two, run both Photoshop and Escape Motion software when you 
export the Photoshop layer, and there's a new document with no changes in Rebel. The document, the new document will resize to the exported layer size. So this means if we haven't done anything with the new document, we've not done anything that would allow us to do an undo action. Then it will resize the document to match the size that's in Photoshop. And here, this last one, uh, open escape motions connect in Photoshop. When exporting a layer from Rebel, the new document will be created in Photoshop with exported layer size. That means that when you go from Rebel into Photoshop, and the same thing here, Photoshop has a new document there. It will uh, alter the, the size of the, of the layer to match Rebel. All right, and here again, you can obviously manually set those in both applications. If you do have a problem, check this uh, readme file, um, how to export layers. This goes through what we just copied here. Uh, if you have an error that's not working, uh, make sure that the option is deselected in Photoshop, uh, edit preferences, interface, auto collapse, iconic panels. Um, what this is saying is that this panel right here needs to be visible in order for this to work. And over here, edit preferences. So that's saying this option right here, auto collapse, iconic panels, deselect this if you're having any problems with the plugin. All right, you guys, if you have questions about this, put it in the comment section and we'll be checking those and answering those questions as quick as possible. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do that. It's a great channel for anyone doing digital art. All right, thanks for watching, and until next time, have a wonderful day.